In the Hook Deck Event Gateway, you can choose whether a transformation runs before or after a filter. This gives you fine-grained control over how events are processed, routed and shaped, depending on your use case. Let's walk through a common scenario. I have webhook source sending subscription events. I want to trigger alerts when there's a potential churn indicator, like a trial ending soon or paused subscription. To do that, I add a transformation that inspects the payload, applies some conditional logic, and sets should alert and alert reason fields. Without filtering first, this transformation runs on every event, even ones that aren't relevant. That's wasted work inside hook deck and potentially in downstream systems that have to parse, process and ignore them. Or worse, if I haven't got my transformation logic right, I end up with false positives. It's worth noting that in this case, events are still successfully filtered after the transformation. However, I can place the transformation after the filter, so the filter runs first. This filter only allows subscription updated events through with either a trialing status or an active status with a pause value of true. Now the transformation only runs when it's needed, making things cleaner and easier to reason about. As demonstrated, you can reorder your rules directly in the Hook Deck dashboard by dragging the UI elements or through the API by updating the connections rules array property. Whether you're normalizing data before filtering, adding useful logic, or cleaning it up, this ability to reorder transformation and filtering rules helps you control what gets delivered and how.